Uh, okay, good morning, everyone. Um, my name is uh, Dr. Ho. I'm one of the uh, consultant oncologists in uh, Mount Mary Cancer Hospital. So, uh, uh, welcome to uh, uh, this talk. Um, it, it takes a bit of practice for me to uh, present online as well because uh, it's a bit like talking to the wall, but uh, I hope there will be some interaction maybe towards the end of the talk. So, um, I was <coughs> asked to give uh, uh, some educational sessions. Um, about cancer care and uh, what are the common uh, myths and uh, 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 facts about cancer that uh, we should know about. So this is a talk which I've given before and I think will be useful uh, for the audience today. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, what, what is a cancer? I think uh, if you look at this uh, picture here, it is uh, part and parcel of our normal human body to have uh, 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 cells which will divide because we do grow. Uh, so the cells are uh, uh, at some point, the, 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 the genes in our cells will tell our, our, body, our cells to say, okay, you need to stop growing now. The problem is that there will be abnormal genes or broken genes, uh, which uh, causes the cell to be unable to pull the bricks. If you cannot pull the bricks, then the cell will keep growing. Uh, at some point, there will be too many cells and we form a tumor or a mass. Okay. So um, cancer is not one disease. Cancer is a group of more than 100 different types of disease. And even within, say, for example, breast cancer, there, be, there are many different types of breast cancer. So uh, uh, it's not just one disease. So uh, for our general public, what do we uh, ask you to look out for? So I think cancer is something which we would like uh, the, uh, the general public to be more aware so that at least uh, if there's any uh, uh, early signs and symptoms, you can look out for it. So, of course, for a lady, the main thing is a breast lump. So, do not ignore a breast lump. Never say that because it's not painful. Therefore, uh, I, I can ignore it or, or try to uh, hide it. Uh, for all of our uh, patients, we commonly see patients uh, coming with swelling in the neck. So, this is what we call limb nodes. If you do feel something in the limb nodes, please consult your doctor rather than ignore it. Of course, it may be a simple infection that goes away after a week of sore throat. But if it doesn't, uh, this is one of the alarm bells that you need to seek out for. So uh, anyone with uh, uh, altered or changed in bowel habits, uh, please uh, uh, take note of it and do not ignore it. Uh, just like yesterday, I saw a young man who is only about 28 years old. Uh, he was actually um, having altered bowel habits for a year and he ignored it. Uh, and when I saw him, he had very advanced uh, cancer of the colon, even in such a young age uh, uh, patient. So a cough that doesn't go away and an unexplained cough so if you do smoke and you're a bit of a, a smoker's cough uh, and if it changes, okay, uh, if it changes, then do take notice of it or uh, uh, you don't normally smoke and you're getting a cough that doesn't go away, especially a dry cough. Uh, so please seek attention. So an unex unexplained weight loss. We are not on a diet or mission to, to, to lose your weight, but uh, the weight is going down despite you eating well. Uh, I think you need to find some answers to that. So how common is cancer? Okay, so um, to make it a bit more interactive, um, uh, normally uh, we will have an audience who can respond and an audience who can vote whether it's true or false. So do you think cancer cases are increasing? So uh, it could be either true or false. So, okay, yes, uh, I, I think uh, this uh, answer which you probably suspected already. Uh, unfortunately, cancer cases are increasing. And uh, in Malaysia, we, we are seeing a, a rise in cancer incidence and death. So why is that so? I think there are a few explanations. The first thing is that our population is aging. We are growing older. Cancer is a, is a disease of the more elderly people. So in a way, we are victim of our own success. In the past, maybe 50 years ago, people died of infections. Uh, but now, uh, but now uh, uh, we are seeing that uh, uh, people are, uh, are living longer. So therefore, there are more cancer. Number two, I think it's partly because we are detecting more uh, 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 cancer uh, because uh, 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 people are more health conscious and they are looking for cancers earlier to, to find out what's, uh, what, what problem do they have. So in the past, you may have heard of people say they die of old age. But if you look closely, there's always a, a reason why, uh, uh, why a, a person has died. So I think better detection as well uh, is one reason why we are seeing more. So if you're in Malaysia, okay, so um, uh, uh, 
what is the incidence? What is the possibility that you might uh, get a cancer in your lifetime? So these are statistics from our Malaysian uh, cancer registry. Uh, it's not from the US or anything like that. So say if in our audience of uh, say 100 people today, uh, in, in our meeting today, if I throw a stone uh, into the audience, I probably hit uh, uh, 10 people in the audience today uh, to say that, look, this is the, the, the chances that you may have cancer. It's one in 10 in a male and one in nine in a female. So what is the most uh, common cancer uh, in, in a female? Of course, it will be breast cancer. So as you can see that, uh, uh, I don't know whether you can see my cursor here. So the, the age where most uh, uh, ladies might uh, experience breast cancer is in their early or mid 50s. That will be the highest incidence of breast cancer. So the lifetime risk for a lady experiencing a cancer is about one in 30. Uh, for every 30 ladies, one will experience a breast cancer. If you are Chinese, uh, uh, you have a one in a 22 chance. If you are a, a Malay lady, you have a slightly less chance of one in 35. So these are our own Malaysian uh, statistics. So uh, uh, in, in, in terms of the most common cause of death uh, in the advanced uh, Western countries, in fact, it's much more, even more common. In Malaysia, it's the third most common cause of death. So the top 10 cancers in the male person, I think colon, lung, and cancer of the nasal pharynx would be one of the highest uh, in the male person. In Malaysia, for a lady, of course, you can see that uh, in breast cancer, uh, the, the incidence of breast cancer far far and beyond, uh, uh, go beyond the other types of cancer. So uh, breast cancer is the most common in the lady, followed by cancer of the colon and cancer of the cervix. So what causes cancer? Okay, so this is our second question. If you use a microwave oven, can it lead to cancer in the future? It shouldn't do. There's no evidence that it leads to cancer, so you are safe to use a microwave oven, okay? Uh, but still, uh, it is uh, quite a common uh, uh, myth uh, among a lot of people. So uh, the third question to you, if you, if you experience cancer, it's usually because someone in your family has cancer? Do you think that's true or perhaps not? Okay, not usually. The chances of uh, uh, someone uh, having a hereditary cancer, meaning that uh, the cancer uh, uh, has uh, gone from uh, father to, to, to son or, or mom to, to daughter. Actually, the risk of uh, a genetic cancer is low. Uh, we, 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 we estimate that it should be about 5% uh, of all cancers. So in my, in my experience, in my practice, I have a few family clusters of uh, cancers where we look after them and screen the family for, for cancers. So what food is uh, linked to cancer of the colon? Do you think uh, eating tofu, hot dog? Or oyster? Okay, I think the, the answer to some of you may already know is uh, uh, processed food really. So, okay, so what causes cancer? I think uh, 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 these are the common ones which we, we already know, for example, like smoking, okay? Uh, and even passive smoking is one of the major causes of, of cancer as well, not just yourself uh, uh, smoking. And uh, cancer uh, uh, is caused in 30% of uh, by, by smoking. Uh, in varieties of cancer and also virus. I think virus is a very hot topic now. So uh, actually virus do cause cancer as well. Uh, 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 hopefully not the coronavirus, but uh, we, the, the, the COVID-19 is not uh, proven to, to cause cancer. But uh, common cancer that cause, common viruses that cause cancers are cancer of the nasal pharynx, okay, lymphomas uh, uh, in, the, in the ladies, uh, cancer of the cervix, and increasingly, uh, we are getting more and more cancer of the tonsil and the tongue due to the HPV virus. So HIV and hepatitis uh, uh, is also other major causes of cancer. You can get uh, uh, bacterial causes of cancer like Helicobacter pylori, and there are treatment for that. Uh, okay, and this is a, a more and more an increasing problem, especially in Malaysia now. Okay, so it is estimated that about uh, one third, up to one third of cancers are related to uh, obesity, especially in a, in a country like America. So like, due to the, the modern lifestyle of like, exercise and uh, indulging in our food, really. And uh, nearer to home, uh, some of us uh, uh, may go to the temple occasionally and it's fine. Uh, but I think uh, uh, too frequent, uh, I think if you, if you work in a temple, uh, we've been found that the carcinogen levels in the blood are very, very high if you work in the temple. But I think occasional visits are fine. I'm not asking you not to go to the temple. So uh, uh, the other one is asbestos. 
uh, I used to work in Belfast where we saw a lot of uh, cancers due to uh, uh, asbestos because they had a lot of shipyards uh, which built the Titanic in, in Belfast. So asbestos is a cause of cancer. But what about asbestos that we see in Malaysia here, the asbestos sheets that we use uh, for our roof? Uh, well, there's asbestos too, but it's a different, slightly different type of asbestos whereby the risk is slightly lower, but still uh, you have to be very careful. So if you do see asbestos, if you work with asbestos, it's best to, for example, wet it, okay? Spray water over it, uh, uh, cover yourself up uh, with a proper N95 mask before you work with asbestos or get rid of asbestos. And uh, more dangerous are asbestos are uh, broken sheets uh, rather than the whole piece of asbestos. So there's something which uh, we need to be aware of. Uh, we had discussed about genetic causes of cancers just now, which causes about 5% of all uh, cancers. And we think that uh, from our knowledge of genetics, we will find more and more hereditary causes of cancers in the future. Radiation uh, that can uh, cause cancer uh, in the UV light uh, from sun exposure, especially in the fair uh, skin, a Caucasian person, uh, that might be a risk. Uh, and a lesser risk in someone who is, for example, uh, a, a, an African person. So these are some of the things which I put up because there are a lot of myths about whether is it safe to, to, to be near to and does it cause cancer. So far, we have no strong evidence to say that these are uh, reasons that will cause a cancer. So can you avoid cancer? Okay, so what can you do uh, to lower your risk of cancer? Avoid stress? Nothing that you can do about? Uh, Exercise? So you may not answer. So I think you, you know that it's exercise really. So there are a lot of uh, people who ask us, what can you can I do? Can I take this supplement or antioxidant and so on and so forth? Uh, all those is possibly helpful. But I think more important is exercise rather than pop appeal. Uh, I think uh, our modern lifestyle is very much more important. So uh, uh, some people might ask, my, my friend deal with cancer despite a very healthy lifestyle, uh, perhaps that person uh, uh, takes organic uh, food or vegetarian food, exercise twice a day, the, 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 the body mass index is very healthy, perhaps a marathon runner, but still develop a cancer. Why? Is it because that person has uh, some bad genes? Or perhaps, look, if you get a cancer, it's a cancer, it's your karma, uh, being healthy is it's a waste of time. Or maybe we don't know why. Okay, so most of the time we don't have a good reason okay we don't really know specific to that person there are of course uh, possibly reasons that maybe uh, there's some hereditary uh, 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 part to that so say for example um, uh, my, my grandmother uh, my, myself uh, my grandmother uh, she smoked when she was in her teens uh, because she was a rubber tapper so she started smoking to get rid of mosquitoes when she was uh, tapping rubber in her, in her teens and she's unable to get rid of a habit and uh, she was still smoking until age of 70 plus. Uh, and uh, she died of something else. She didn't die of a cancer. So uh, is it because uh, smoking uh, is safe for some people? Uh, we, well, we don't really know. But perhaps uh, uh, you may need two things. Uh, I think number one is that you may have bad genes, okay, but you don't have a trigger, meaning you don't smoke. Or you, you may have um, uh, uh, good genes, but you, you have a bad lifestyle. So a cancer is perhaps triggered when you have the genes and you have a trigger, uh, a bad lifestyle and bad genes. So uh, we're not entirely sure either, uh, but it's something which um, uh, despite, uh, what, despite uh, uh, the, we don't really know the reason in most patients, that is not a reason not to lead a healthy lifestyle. Okay, so you have your, you go to your local hawker center, uh, you, you see the satay and it's very tasty. Uh, do you think that after this talk, you might want to eat satay? May maybe yes, no. Okay, yes, you can eat satay. I think uh, 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 you shouldn't feel that just because uh, you've attended this talk, you don't dare to eat satay anymore. So yes, you can. But I think the, the advice is more of um, uh, uh, if you do eat anything, uh, please um, uh, uh, take it in moderation. Secondly, uh, try not to have it too burnt. I think there's a lot of evidence to say that, uh, to, to say that uh, burnt uh, high, high heat okay, on uh, meat and carbohydrates do cause some carcinogens to form. 
Okay, so uh, I think in moderation, number one, and number two, uh, get rid of any burns bit or, or, or perhaps ask the satay seller not to make it too burnt for you. So yes, you can eat satay safely, uh, but uh, in moderation. Okay, so um, it is estimated that actually uh, many cancer uh, incidents and death can be prevented, okay, uh, especially uh, 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 in the US where obesity is due to the lifestyle, uh, uh, you can stop smoking. So actually many, many causes uh, are due to uh, tobacco use, uh, uh, indulgence in food, poor dietary habits, uh, exposure to, uh, 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 to, to sun in order to get a nice tan. So actually there are a lot of cancers that can be prevented. Okay, so I think uh, stopping, stopping smoking, not just yourself, but your family members or people around you. Uh, it's very important, of course, to have a, a healthy lifestyle. Uh, we have talked about exercise, we're talking about a, a, a well-balanced, uh, healthy diet. Okay, so um, I think uh, I just saw a man yesterday uh, who had cancelled the colon as well. And he confided to me that, look, in, in one week, he must have at least two to three times of fast food. Uh, his favorite food is always fried things and so on. Um, uh, so I think uh, the, 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 the point is that uh, do cut down on your, on your processed food if you can. Okay, for, for ladies, uh, young ladies, uh, 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 there's an option of a vaccination uh, for the HPV virus to, to reduce the incidence of cancer uh, for cancer of the cervix, which is actually now uh, routinely done in our schools now by our uh, Malaysian uh, Health Ministry. If you're a lady, please uh, remind yourself that, look, you really have to do a mammogram uh, on the other side of your breast. So this is for ladies, uh, especially over the age of 50, uh, uh, whereby uh, uh, screening for, for early uh, detection of cancer is very, very important. For any younger ladies than 50, sometimes the, the breast is very dense, uh, we call it, and the mammogram, uh, the x-ray is not that accurate. So uh, uh, we commonly do ultrasounds for young ladies younger than 50 because the mammogram is not so accurate. Uh, pap smears for cancer of the cervix. So we have never done one, you have to. Uh, so we suggest a mammogram and a pap smear every two to three years uh, for a lady up to the age of 70. So uh, uh, there are many things that you can do to, to reduce the risk of cancers. Uh, uh, so how do we overcome cancer? So I think uh, uh, we have talked about the causes of cancer. We have talked about uh, uh, how do you prevent cancer. We have, so I just want to uh, give a few uh, uh, discussion points about how do we uh, overcome cancer. Okay, so um, again, uh, uh, some of these myths that uh, commonly uh, is uh, perpetuated, uh, a biopsy or surgery can cause a cancer to spread further. Huh? If it is uh, quiet, uh, uh, why, why, why are we uh, make, making it angry by uh, poking a needle into it? So can it cause cancer to spread? Of course, it's false. Okay, surgery is meant to help patients, to cure patients, rather than to damage the patient further. Okay, so um, uh, again, uh, the patients that we see, and we sometimes offer them uh, chemotherapy uh, uh, to prevent or to reduce the risk of cancer or to treat the cancer that's existing. So uh, commonly, the, the, uh, the reluctance for, for cancer for chemotherapy is because maybe they have heard uh, stories about uh, the, the side effects of chemotherapy and say that, look, I, I don't want any treatment. Uh, if I do the chemotherapy, it will kill all my good and bad cells. So is that true or false? Well, this one here is mostly false. Okay, I wouldn't say there's no truth to that. Okay, uh, why do I still say that? Uh, of course, chemotherapy affects both our good and bad cells. Okay, in in, a, in, in our in our bad cells because the genes are are, 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 are defective. Okay, they are broken genes, so uh, they cannot repair themselves anymore. So they will die off. Our good cells are also. Uh, uh, damage in a way. That's why you get some temporary side effects like nausea or tiredness. Uh, you do get some uh, 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 effect on the good cells, but the good cells still retain their genetic function. Therefore, they can repair and recover. And that's why side effects tends to be temporary. So, uh, of course, good cells are affected, but it's a transient temporary thing which uh, patients can recover from. And we exploit the advantage uh, when we do chemotherapy. So, of course, it's not uh, the 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 uh, it is not entirely uh, uh, false, uh, but we do tell patients that it is uh, uh, it's not due to that you shouldn't do chemotherapy, okay? Right, 
So um, uh, many uh, 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 patients are, of course, on the elderly side when they discover they have a cancer and when they need treatment, uh, uh, families are very reluctant for them to have chemotherapy or, or treatment or the patient themselves think that they're not fit for the treatment. So is there such thing as being too old for cancer treatment? Well, false actually, okay. Actually, age is not the most important thing. We, we, don't, we look less at, uh, at the uh, uh, chronological age, meaning how old you are. We are more focused on the biological age, meaning how fit you are. I would rather have a 90 years old who is very fit than a 50 years old who is very unhealthy, had a stroke and heart attack and diabetic, uh, who is not that fit for cancer treatment. So I think fitness is more important than age. So uh, this is just a, 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 a one example of a lady who asked her permission uh, to, to, to inspire other cancer patients. Uh, uh, this is a very nice lady who, who is uh, 89 years old. Uh, she she remained fit for her age and uh, uh, despite her, her cancer diagnosis, uh, she still um, uh, managed to perform chemotherapy uh, fairly, fairly smoothly and fairly well. Uh, she did very well on the chemotherapy. And um, uh, so uh, uh, I asked her permission to, to show that, look, uh, it's not the age that matters, but it's the attitude and the, uh, 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 the, the, the fitness that, uh, that matters more, really. So uh, the, the, the point is that it's not that the, we have to adapt the chemotherapy to the patient, not the patient having to adapt to the chemotherapy. So no matter how old you are, there's still treatment options available if the patient wants it, of course. So uh, surgery, of course, is uh, uh, one of the main treatment, uh, but being an oncologist, uh, I'm not a surgeon. So uh, what I do mainly is radiotherapy, which is the use of very high energy X-rays uh, to destroy cancer cells. And uh, there are very advanced machines now uh, to do radiotherapy, uh, which are very precise uh, uh, with less side effects. I wouldn't dare to say no side effects, but they are uh, very much less now compared to previous uh, uh, radiotherapy technology. So uh, we also can see our cancer better, so we can target them better. So this is an example of what we call a PET scan. So this uh, at the top here in black and white is a normal CT scan. And this is an example of what we call a PET scan, where we can see the cancer much better uh, in order to uh, identify where to treat. So of course, you can have chemotherapy, uh, where a cancer drug is uh, uh, given as an infusion, as a drip treatment. So this is a common treatment. We can have hormonal treatment for breast cancer and prostate cancers. Uh, that is affected by hormones when you reduce the influence of hormones. And nowadays, we have so many uh, targeted therapies uh, which can target the cancer cells specifically to reduce side effects and more focus on the cancer cell. Uh, so these are some of the examples which are more superficial and easy to see. So this is a, a gentleman with a cancer of the skin, as you can see here. So by giving radiotherapy, uh, it will gradually stop growing. And uh, some of the cancers are even uh, cured by radiotherapy as well. Uh, uh, apart from surgery. Uh, this is an example of a PET scan where before treatment and after treatment, as you can see, so uh, you can see that the cancer uh, uh, in, in this patient, there's a scan of the head and the neck where there's a teeth, the tongue, and the cancer in the tonsil which has spread to the neck. It's a very large neck uh, uh, tumor, which after treatment and radiotherapy and chemotherapy has gone away and the patient still remain well uh, up to now, uh, five years later on. So what is another example of a, a tumor that in the tongue, which is not operable, or if the patients uh, refuse operation, so this, you can see a swelling in the tongue. So after treatment, uh, the, the tumor has melted away and has gone away. So patient is still uh, well three years later until today. Uh, this is an example of uh, cancer in the lung where after treatment is completely resolved and patient is still doing well. So these are many treatment options available nowadays. So despite our advances, despite the technology, Unfortunately, some patients still don't do well, or even if we, they do well, at some point, the treatment becomes resistant. Huh? So uh, this is where we come in with what we call palliative treatment. Palliative treatment means that the focus is on reducing the patient's suffering. Huh? We focus on the, on, the, on the symptoms to ensure a good uh, uh, end-of-life care with quality of life. So they we call palliative treatment. Okay? So uh, I think that uh, concludes uh, my uh, very short talk. Uh, thank you for your attention and your support for Mount Mary Cancer Hospital. So uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention today. Many thanks.